Should Nebraska's electoral votes be up for grabs? Dive into the debate with us as we unpack the push for a winner-take-all system. Governor Jim Pillen is considering a special legislative session to shift Nebraska's electoral college votes to a winner-take-all system, spurred by the national pressure from figures like Charlie Kirk. Now, this movement, if successful, would align Nebraska with most other states. The GOP, seeking to secure more votes, faces internal divisions and opposition from Democrats defending the current system. What you say, David? So Nebraska and Maine are the two states in the union who have proportional delegation of their uh, electoral votes. I believe Nebraska has three. And there is typically two, well, more recently, uh, two have gone to the Republican uh, presidential uh, candidate. And one, I believe, is the second district. that has recently gone to the Democrat. Mm-hmm. And so Charlie Kirk, and and you you've gotta you gotta appreciate the brilliance of Charlie Kirk. Mm-hmm. Um I what he's done um with the young conservatives. Oh yes. Impressive. And always thinking, always looking to get an advantage for um, the Republican Party hey. and and move the conservative uh, agenda, and so I hey game recognizes game. I, I get it, yeah. and, and more power. Where's, where's the liberal Charlie Charlie Kirk? Uh, you, I'm sure you have one out there that people would 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 call up, but yeah, maybe we'll cultivate our liberal well, Charlie Kirk here. Maybe yeah, but I mean, this is the reason why we we look at the electoral college and. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people are not very, you know, very up to. I don't want to say smart. That's a terrible way to do it, Joel. Educated. They're not educated on it. Like they, they, they think it's oh, it's awful. It's this, that. It's a system because you don't vote for president. Right. The electoral college does. That makes us a representative government, and the way your state has the opportunity to uh, delegate those. Most states have always said, "Winner take all." Look. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have 29, and I'm going to give them all to whoever wins. But Maine and, and Nebraska did something different. But if you want to capitalize on a system that's really close, you need to convince places like Nebraska and Maine to get back in the fold like they used to be. And this phenomenon here in Nebraska is relatively recent. In the 80s, it was decided to uh, mm-hmm. separate proportion. Uh, make it proportional uh, based on the vote in the district with the ho- hopes with the hopes of having more voter engagement, particularly uh, more voter engagement among uh, minor- minority demographics. Um, and so with this latest push, uh, Charlie Kirk is saying, hey, you know, it's going to be a tight election and either candidate can win by one electoral vote. And if we could go to a place like Nebraska and say, hey, instead of splitting the, the vote here, let's just do it winner takes all. Well, and we so know, there listen, has we, been a push for that. We know prior to them changing, Nebraska's always gone red. Correct. Now, okay, now you're, 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 you're disenfranchising us as Republicans because now you got this one blue, you know, electoral the, the vote dot. out there. Like the blue we, dot. We don't want that. Listen, the Democrats would do the same thing. Look, right. I, I want California to be proportional. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I mean, because this, you would, if you actually proportionalized California, mm-hmm. you'd be surprised at how small that that 
disbursement would be because mm-hmm. you got some really conservative parts of California. Right. And as as conservative as conservatives, we look at California and we just write it off all the time. Right. Because it's winner take all. Right. So I I say this is what is important to me as I love the Electoral College because I believe that some place as small as Nebraska, some place like um, Minnesota, you know, they should have a good input. And, and three is all the maximum they can get, mm-hmm. you know? So I think more power to you. I like this. It would take a special session. I don't know how Nebraska is broken down exactly uh, legislation, uh, legislation oh, by far wide, the, the, but I'm sure it's going to be more the conservative. Republicans dominate. It's more conservative. Yeah. So I think out of the, what, 45 seats, 33 of them are, are GOP, even though the legislature is bicameral, so everyone's considered a senator. Right. Um, and um, there is supposed to be nonpartisan. However, we do know that, you know, there are folks who are, you know, Republican, registered Republicans, yeah, there are I folks who are registered Democrats, but it's supposed to be nonpartisan. There's no such thing as nonpartisan. I, I can prove that in Seminole <laughs> County right now, and we'll we'll talk about that on a different show. I'm guarantee you that. No, I like this. Um, I, I think this is this is what you got to do. You know, Turning Point USA. I, I'm going to turn there for just a second yeah. because I want to let people know it's young people. Mm-hmm. You know, Democrats have always taken that vote for granted, but you're seeing nowadays that we are making inroads there because our policies and the things that we really truly talk about that that they matter uh, we're getting you know we're, we're getting more uneducated or 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 people that no we have a lot more of the democrat the typical democrat vote of people, you know, young men that didn't go to college, right? You know, they they used to go they they used to go left, and now they're starting to come right, and you're right. seeing that number increase. Correct. You're seeing African American males, yes, actually coming over into the Republican Party a lot more. Oh, they're not yes. bold. I mean, they're not out there like hitting the, you know hard right now, but they're 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 voting that way. That's correct. And they're they're starting to so. We're seeing those trends. Hispanics, uh, there's a very there's a very tough road there to classify them as liberal anymore. There 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 are a lot of them saying, you know what, the values uh, is a values thing for me. Or so it's these young people with Turning Point USA, yeah. with their educational programs, with their their actual push on the on these uh, social media sites I, I sit there and i i sometimes as a conservative my jaw drops <laughs> because i'm like who on earth would say that and uh, charlie kirk to give him credit I, i've yeah. never been that bold and and i'm i'm i always call myself brutally honest but he'll take students that will challenge him Mm-hmm. And he'll, he'll take, take him, him on, on yeah. and he will not miss a beat. And he says things that you call him a racist, and he's going to turn it right around and say, Wait, "Well, hold on," and mm-hmm. ask you questions. If you answer the questions, you're you're not very smart because the questions are definitely made to lead you to think that maybe, just maybe, we all have our own opinion, and we're the same, just on. Right. I'll listen to Char- Charlie Kirk. Kirk. I'll listen to him. Uh, I may not agree with no. many things that he says or does. However, I will listen and learn from Charlie Kirk. And I believe he is um, brilliant in this particular situation. And going to Nebraska, <clears throat> excuse me, having the rally, encouraging the governor to call a special session to look at the possibility of making Nebraska's electoral votes winner take all. Granted, again, um, the purpose of making it proportional was to bring out more votes and and, and uh, from uh, the African American community uh, and other um, minority communities and 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 give them you know something to 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 be uh, willing to 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 participate in. 
you know, to be engaged in. And what's exciting it. for me is this is one vote. <laughs> I know. And, 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 and with everything that is at stake for both presidential campaigns, um, one vote could be the difference. Yeah, I, I, I think it's... I think it's incredible. Yep. Um, the, the, I just read the uh, I just read the other day. Um, Democrats are having a hard time. They really thought it was going to be easy to go into Florida and Texas and and, and grab themselves a Senate seat. And it's not so it's, easy. And, and they're realizing that those dollars are gone. Mm -hmm. The dollars that they thought they were going to invest, they're gone, and they haven't even started a real campaign. Yeah, that's right. So to see Charlie out there. For one vote, that's to me. It's it's encouraging at how the Republican Party is actually really, you know, we really want to win, and we really want to. We don't want to change this country. We want to preserve our republic. And uh, look, whether you whether you agree or disagree, uh, that's the kind of motivation that you and our audience should have when it comes to voting, you should be looking at where can I make a difference? And I'm trying to make a difference by, you know, supporting my party, you know, challenging my party when I have to, uh -huh. um, taking the time to work with you, David, to come up with solutions, you know, and, and innovative ways to help us. Okay. I can't win that seat. I can't win that seat, but I'm going to try to get you the right candidate that can get something done in that seat. And I'm going to do that by working with David. And then David's going to work with me because maybe he needs something done. And he yeah. knows that only a Republican is going to win that seat. So what kind of Republican do we need? So that's, that's the key. Getting the right person in the right, in, in the right place at the right time. And I think that's what we're trying to do with you. So please, you got to like, you got to comment. Yeah. Look at the story. You know, it'll be, it'll be, you know, we'll always have a link there for you to figure this out, but look at the absolute, you know, heart and soul that they're putting into one vote. And, yeah. and that's what I think is good about this uh, conversation. And I was telling David, I don't usually get really excited when we talk about another state, right? But, you know, it is exciting to think of how much we're doing to try to make that a winning scenario. I agree. It's innovative thinking, which we pride ourselves on, you know, discussing and implementing. Um, and I just like the exercise in the democratic process and understanding what the rules are, the rules of engagement and thinking, hey, perhaps we could do this a different way. And I have to, uh, again, the game recognizes game. And the conservatives will use every lever of uh, power and authority to advance their agenda. And the forward thinking, I'm always amazed of. Project 2025. Again, I don't agree with many things in Project 2025. However, the forward thinking, the organizing, the planning, I just don't see that on the liberal Democrat side. I see a lot of reaction. And one of the reasons why the Republicans have dominated here in Florida is because they've had a plan and they've implemented the plan over a generation to the point where they have a supermajority. And so the, the, the organizing, the planning, the forward thinking, playing the long game, I, I, I enjoy that. I appreciate that. And I'm learning from it so that I can help our clients become better candidates and be better elected mm -hmm. and stay ahead of the curve. Listen, uh, it, it's really cool because it's like, I was just thinking while you're saying that it, it, you can't win, you, you can't win the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. with just a, a great defense. That's correct. You got to have at least a little offense yes. to be able to score those 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 points. You, what what are you going to go when you go to a baseball game? What, what do you want to see? You want to see exciting? Well, for me, exciting is a pitcher that absolutely dominates and the game is over quickly, but those strikeouts really get to me. Yes. But hey, there are other people that want to just go in there and watch the ball fly over the, uh, you know, hey, listen, that was like, 
blowing them out. Oh, that batter like hit, hit a grand slam and this and that. It's exciting. But when you balance that, that's it's what beautiful. it's all about. It is and beautiful. that's being innovative. So you got to be have a good offense. You got to have a good defense. And I think what we've done here in Florida is – we watch the Democrats and we watch them taking, you know, and, and packing their, their defense and doing the right things. But we also said, look, we got to pack our offense. Yeah. And we got on the offense. And now with that offense being as good as it is now, we've now offensive voter registration. Bam. Hey, we knew the Democrats were good at it. They've always been good at it. They've always focused on it. But now why don't we focus on it? And bam, we now have more registered Republicans in the state of Florida. 900,000 voter advantage. And getting better every day. So even the Democrats are starting to say, well, this is not a swing state anymore. Because, listen, we've been on the defense. Now we're on the offense. And look, this is a prime example of offense. So, David, um, Democrats, I'm not trying to give you any advice because – I, I like winning. <laughs> I do. Like the, the Super Bowl, I like to win the Super Bowl. I want to win the World Series. I want to have the Stanley Cup. I mean, so, hey, in Florida, I think we're there, and we're going to continue unless, unless the Democrats start listening to you, David. And look, hey. you know, I, I know that you that keep, keep saying you're going to lose your Democrat card, but you, you'll gain it if the Democrats start listening to you. Thank you very much. Please like, please share, please Please get involved. What more can I say, really? <laughs> I agree. Like, share. Hit the notification button so that you know when our episodes pop up on your feed. And we'd love for you to be a part of our community by commenting and sharing your thoughts. Bring your facts, not your feelings, because we really don't care about your feelings. We will let you know that every time. <laughs> Bring your facts. Let's have an honest tactful, respectful conversation. We are Jay in Washington. We want to thank our team. We want to th thank our guests. We want to thank you, our community, our viewers and listeners to our podcast. Can't make a shit up.